Indian pharma market reported yet another disappointing month this September with growth coming in at 2.1% year on year. Now this comes on the back of a drag on the volume growth which has been uh, haunting and plaguing the market for quite a few months now. So the volumes have been a drag and they've reported a degrowth of 5.6% this month. Uh, on on the positive side the new product launch growth rate has been going strong at 2.9% and price growth has been stable at 4.8%. The top performing therapies for pharma this month have been anti-infectives which have grown 5.4% uh, followed by respiratory which has grown 4.2% and pain which has grown 4.1% year on year. Now we have three listed outperformers in the space FDC Limited has reported a year-on-year -year growth of 9.5% this September, followed by Alchem, which grew 7.3%, and Sipla, which grew 5.4%. We also have three underperformers, uh, one of them, which has been constantly on the list for quite a few months now, has been Pfizer, reporting the highest D growth of 17.7% year-on-year, followed by Eris, which reported a degrowth of around 12%, and Sanofi, reporting a degrowth of about 5% year-on-year this September. For more such news and updates, stay tuned to BQ Prime.